here's a quick video about using the replication method to make surfaces flat relatively quickly cheap and affordable this is one I already did and this is with the West system 105 epoxy to six slow hardener and uh, fine iron particles and this is flat to about two micrometers uh, just directly after the cast it's about eight but when you use some like uh, whetstone to kind of get all the high spots off you can cut quite uh, pretty much uh, one to two micrometers i use this miracle glass as a release agent that works the best as you can see small surface plate this is packed within like three micrometers you put the miracle wax on there a few layers and you tape off the edges you basically pour it with the metallized epoxy let it dry and after 12 hours you take it off and then when you do it looks like this i broke off these edges it's my fault but this is really flat now it pulls a vacuum on the on the surface plate and i measured it with the meter toyo and it's about two micrometers of flatness so this is how it looks when you have just poured it you can see the dam here is full you can see a little bit, well, it's hard to, hard to show, Maybe with the light on. You can see here at the bottom, you can see the layer. When this is all done, you have to re-drill the holes. As you can see here, you have to put a drill bit in to make the holes open again. Unless you block them up before you, you do it. And now it will take about 12 hours, uh, nine, well, 9 to 12 hours to, to dry. Then you can more or less uh, hit all the axes off with a hammer and uh, do a quick uh, flat stoning session and then uh, you get something that's uh, about uh, two micrometers flat and parallel and coplanar in one uh, in one face. A copy of the surface plane, which is, I believe this one is about 1.8 micrometers of flatness. So this is about 12 hours later, I've removed the casting, this is, here you can see the surface roughness, this is the one I already made smooth, you see very little sound here, you see some high spots, that's why you need to use a flattening stone or some iron powder and abrasive and a 1 to 3 block to kind of smooth this out, and once you do, you get about a surface, uh, this is a copy of the surface plate. The surface plate is about 2 micrometers of flatness. And this will more or less match that. 